Hi, I'm Skylar. And I'm Max. During quarantine, we decided to start watching Bob's Burgers to see what it was all about. It didn't take long for us to become completely obsessed with the show. And one of the things we loved the most about the show were the brilliant end credits. Which is why we created this podcast. Each week, we'll go episode by episode to talk about the elaborate end credit sequences. We're excited to have you join us on the very first credit score spinoff, Bob's Credits. We'll make sure the Bob's Burgers end credits get the credit they're due. Do you want to try saying it for once? Yeah. I think you should, because people are not going to expect it. All right. I need silence first. Okay. Silence is really good for a podcast. Wait, are we recording? Yeah. (laughs) Okay, ready? Silence. Chip chipperoo. There it is. You did it. How Thank many you. this is like this is like episode 19 for us and I knew it was only a matter of time before I got you on board. We've only done this 19 times. 19 episodes, yeah. Sounds like a lot in a little, but I love sitting down with you. Yeah, I love sitting with you. We got a little biscuit here with us. He's curled up on the couch next to you. Yep. And we're going to do a podcast episode about the end credits to Bob's Burgers. I love it. Let's do it. Okay. Let's dive right in. Are you ready for our favorite game? Yes. Bob pun or Max pun? All right. Hit me. Your first pun is the Cranberry Kate and Ashley Burger. (laughs) You. Yes. That was so good. I was very proud and of all one. our nineties hearts are just that squealing. A, so this is a Thanksgiving episode. Oh, by the you way. even this tied is, it into Thanksgiving. Yes. So this is our first Thanksgiving episode. Oh my gosh, should, why didn't we start with that? You know what? Because we're recording this after Thanksgiving, like as we said. So we're, we've like end, put it to bed. It's it's more like Christmas season now or the holiday season, and this is gonna come out in like January or February. So it's like, it's so weird to reference these things, but this is a Thanksgiving episode. And it's the first one. And it's the first one. And the Bob's Thanksgiving episodes are fantastic. And I think um, a few episodes ago, we discussed of all the holiday episodes, the Thanksgiving genre is our favorite for yeah, Bob's. Yeah, we which both is said surprising that. because Halloween is so much fun and Christmas is so much fun, but... I just love... I'm a perfectionist. I also really want to be a great hostess and like love on people with my cooking. So I relate so much to Bob's intensity around Thanksgiving and nobody around me seems to care about how much I care. Yeah, you're definitely Bob and I'm definitely the kids. And, and Linda. Linda. Like, yeah. it'll be fine. Yeah, I'm singing songs care. that I'm making up, you know. <laughs> so I just... <laughs> We're cooking mashed potatoes. That is so we're a Linda song. Lots, yeah, time, we're, we're putting in some time. Actually, spoiler alert, you are like on theme for our credits. That's true. There is a Linda song coming up. Um, I do just have to say, since this is our first Thanksgiving episode, which is really exciting, Max and I have made a new tradition that every year we're going to watch all the Bob's Thanksgiving episodes kind of the week of Thanksgiving. And so we just did that, which means we've now watched... This particular episode, 17 million times. Um, But I highly recommend doing that for Thanksgiving. There's not enough Thanksgiving content out there. There isn't. And if there is, it's kind of meh. And Bob just nails it. Yep. Pretty much every time. This season, season 11's, the most recent one, was fantastic. I think it ranks my second favorite Thanksgiving episode. Really? Yes. Okay. And you know what? Both my top two are in the house. They don't really right. leave the house at all. Which Skylar and I have said, we don't like when they leave the restaurant of the house too much. Yeah. We want them to stay there forever. Like that horror movie we just watched, Run. Oh, God. That was a good movie. If you're looking for like a thriller, like Sarah Paulson, a new actress who was fantastic. Yeah. She carried the movie. Yeah, Hitch- it's a little Munchal- Hitchcockian. What I'd is say. it? Um, Munchausen, it's about Munchausen by proxy. Yeah, yeah, very, very different tone it's from where we are right now. All right. Um, you ready for your next part? We're in the middle of a, bur- a burger pun war here. I just went real dark, okay. real fast. Um, your next pun is "Where have you been all my life?" Burger. Oh, that one's like kind of mediocre. So I'm, I'm gonna say Bob. It is Bob. Okay. Would your feelings have been hurt if it was you? No, I think a mediocre pun is a better phenomenal. pun. <laughs> yeah, almost. Um, your next burger is the better cauliflower. Sa- better cauliflower saw burger. You. 
No. Oh, Bob. you guys, we, this household is obsessed with Better Call Saul. We love Better Call Saul. We it's love so it. It's so good. It's when one it's of the on, best shows on TV. Yeah. We, so when it's on, there's these huge gaps in between seasons. So when it's on, that hour when we were watching it, it is serious business. The weeks in between episodes are the longest weeks of our lives. You send me 17 recaps, yeah. interviews. Uh huh. Yep. Uh, all we can do to. That was a good one. You tricked keep me. Keep us going until I figured that would be good. Your last pun is turkey and peel. Sorry, have they done a breaking yes, radish we, yeah, burger? Yeah, we did that one a, okay. a few weeks ago. I think. And was it yours or Bob's? It was Bob's. Okay, sorry. So we're clearly uh, Vince Gilligan fans over yeah. there at Bob's Burgers. Uh, turkey and peel. I can't imagine that's not you. you. You're saying it's me? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Final answer. Yes. Yes. And another Thanksgiving themed one. I'm yeah. going to give you some bonus stars. I for feel like that, that would have been one they would have done though. That's yeah. like right up their alley. Anyway, should we get into this episode? Let's do it. I can't Skylar, wait. Skylar, can we have the title and synopsis for episode five from season three, please? Yes. So the title is An Indecent Thanksgiving Proposal, which I'm sure you all know. That Are they doing all movie puns this season for their titles? I feel like... I don't think so. It's been jumping around. For, for one... Yeah. At one point, we thought it was like just going to puns, and now it's like their movie references, and now they're... It's... Yeah. At some point, it just becomes puns, it seems like. Okay. But they've been... This season has been much heavier on the movie puns. Um, as you know, this is a pun on Indecent Proposal, which I have not seen. Have you seen? When it like back when it was out, yeah, it's uh Robert Redford, uh Demi, Demi Moore, Moore, and oh, Woody me, Harrelson. Demi. Oh, and Robert Redford's like a rich guy who offers Woody Harrelson a lot of money to spend a million like, a dollars night with his wife. Yeah, so Indecent Proposal is one of those movies that I haven't seen, but it's such a like kind of a classic that I just pretend that I see it. Um, and so when I read the description of it, I was like, is is this really that big of a decision? What do you mean? Like, like, what what would we do if someone? We'd say yes. Go ahead. How much? A <laughs> million dollars. Um, what if it was for me? What if Robert Redford came to you and said, "I'd like a million dollars to spend the night with Max." Well, first of all, the problem is your consent. That's all I care about. Mm -hmm. If you're cool with it and you want to bring home a million dollars, which would completely transform our lives. What about biscuit? No, nobody touches <laughs> okay. the dog. <laughs> the do no one gets the dog for a million dollars, but one of us, we're, come, come at us. If you got a million dollars. Okay. Hey, if you, hey, if you contribute a million dollars to our Patreon, you could spend the night with one of us. <laughs> I say spend the night just because that can yeah. mean anything. All right. So the synopsis for this, if I can read my handwriting, goes... Mr. Fish Odor hires the Belchers to play his family for Thanksgiving in order to woo a woman who is only attracted to unavailable family men. Linda takes her role as Mr. Fish Odor's wife very seriously. In fact, she even prepares a song because she doesn't like plays if there's not a song in them. The kids take their roles very seriously too, especially when Fish Odor ups the stakes by doling out prize tickets. So someone will win a prize at the end. And I wonder if those, because he owns Wonder Wharf, if they can use those at Wonder Wharf's prize. Oh, I didn't get that. I'm not sure. I, I, I don't even know if they like say that. Yeah. I think they just like getting the tickets, to be yeah. honest. Yeah, this exactly. This episode was released on November 18th, 2012, and was written by Lizzie Molyneux and Wendy Molyneux, our favorite... Uh, Sister, sister Act. Sister duo. Um, yeah. Oh, Sister Act. I like that I reference. That oh, thank you. you. That, I, I am obsessed with Sister Act. Sister Act 2, Back in the Habit, primarily. Well, and Mac shared the beautiful movie with me this quarantine season, and I was enchanted. Love it's, it. It's so fun. And the best end credits there. Go listen. Go watch those oh, end credits. So you just good. Google Sister Act 2 end credits and enjoy. Yeah. yeah. Well, don't you have a whole podcast episode? About that on Credit Score? No, we haven't done yet because <gasps> so my other podcast is Credit Score, where we do like movie and TV show opening and end credits that are entertaining. And I've been threatening Gary with doing Sister Act too because I love those end credits and he's been like fighting They're so me. good. Yeah. He's going to love it That's when we do it. That's a fight he's going to lose. Yeah. This uh, episode was directed by Tyree Dillahay 
And I think we noticed that the Mall No Sisters have written pretty much every Thanksgiving one, except for this most recent one. Yep. We were shocked. Yeah. So they, must they have might be getting the, too, like, bigger. Too big. Because too big. they're going to write Deadpool 3. Yeah. And they've got another show, too, that's out. That's now right. On I Fox. need to watch that trailer. Yeah. All right. So I want to give you some huge pop culture kudos max okay because when we were watching this episode you were like okay i didn't mention bob in the description as much but as you know bob is obsessed with having the perfect family thanksgiving so when mr fish odor says hey i'll give you i think it's like eventually five months rent free like it's it's an offer they can't turn down but bob is like very very sad that they're gonna miss his favorite holiday um so he's like in while the kids are and they're all role playing in the dining room bob is cooking and drinking absinthe and mourning the oh, loss and we also forgot to say that he starts talking to the turkey and the turkey talks back to him and one of Skylar's pet peeves on the show is when Bob talks to objects and talks to himself. It drives her crazy. <laughs> she does I not like, like it. I feel like I'm like the Christmas Grinch. <laughs> I feel like probably everyone thinks it's hysterical and it just kind of annoys me. It's so funny how angry you get when he starts going, Hi, Bob. What's going on? <laughs> and you're really good at it. And then you start doing it. Oh, it's a yeah, I do cycle. do it around the house just to drive you crazy because I know yeah. how much you hate it. But then in one other, a later Thanksgiving episode, the food starts talking back. And I actually enjoyed it a little bit more. When they actually had voices? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so Bob is drinking absinthe and mourning the loss of his perfect Thanksgiving. And he has this absinthe hallucination. And Mr. Sophisticated cultural palette over here um was like that is my father's name <laughs> was like um was like i wonder if that's if that's a reference to my neighbor totoro and i was like what's that and if you weren't familiar it's it's one of the it's like studio ghibli who does all those beautiful animated films they're truly wonderful yeah it was one of their earlier ones i think from the 80s yeah yeah my neighbor um, totoro but you are correct. That was, in fact, a reference. Okay. It looked just like it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So when it, like, the, the turkey's like sitting in the tree next to him. I think yeah. It's like, yeah. It looks just like Totoro. Yeah. So good. Kudos. Wow. Thank you. I feel so um, validated. Good. Yeah, we That's... should watch that sometime. I thought we had. No, we watched Spirited Away, I okay. think, more recently. I liked that. But yeah. Totoro was before that. So I don't really have that many fun facts. The only thing is, as you know, they do fun script covers, mm -hmm. art, script cover art. Um, and Teddy is on the art, but he is not present in this episode. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. He's not in it at all? Mm-mm. Oh, that's sad. Sorry, yeah, Teddy. I know. Teddy, I didn't like initially. Well, I didn't like dislike him. I just, he wasn't... But he's become such a great character. He's probably one he's of my favorites. One, I know I keep saying this every episode, but um, I'd love to do a bonus episode on Patreon of... Uh, his arc. Yeah, the evolution of Teddy would yeah. be fun. Because he's really become such a great character. I think his earnestness and just need to be loved mm -hmm. is just... And the just, voice, too. It's just yeah. such a distinct voice. Yeah. And Larry Murphy doing that voice is, just cracks me up. So good. Yeah. So we're getting these credits? Let's do it. Okay, so I'll, as always, play the last moment before the credits begin. And I think what's going on is they're talking about... Um, they're finally having Thanksgiving dinner at home. And they're talking about, like, if uh, Bob would be delicious to eat. Oh, of, yeah. naturally. Yeah, of course. I bet Dad would have made a great dinner. Thanks, Tina. Yeah, you're so plump. Oh. Aww, it's a delicious Bobby. Lynn, don't toast to eating me. Eat that, eat that, eat Bob. Stop eat it. Bob, eat Bob, eat Bob, eat Bob. Thanksgiving's eat over. Eat Bob, eat Bob. Pass oh. the cranberry sauce. We're having mashed potatoes. Okay. I am just jamming. This is such a fun credits. Yeah, sequence. I was I was a little Debbie Downer last episode. I am alive. Oh, and yeah, you're, you're awake I am now. Feeling this. Okay, you're feeling refreshed. Um, so we immediately get Linda well, I mean saying, because of because of these. Oh, great! So we immediately get Linda um, singing. Pass 
the cranberry <laughs> sauce. <laughs> and we so we see the generic <laughs> sequence of Bob, Louise, and Tina preparing the burgers in the kitchen. Yep. But Linda d- immediately dances through the window singing her song. Yes. And is there like some nice jazz? Like, yeah. Is it a, yeah, kind some of. Some jazz accompaniment? Let's see what else she does here. Oh, the turkey looks great. She pops her head in the window. Thank you for loving me. Glenn. Thank you for being there. So she keeps like <laughs> popping into the window, in dancing. Yeah. And now Bob, who normally just kind of like when stuff is going on around him, doesn't do much, is reacting. He did this in the episode two when she was singing. And now he's reacting to her like, Lynn, come on, Lynn. I just have to interject here. One of my favorite ongoing running character bits that they've given to Bob is just when he says a name. Yeah. So it's particularly when Gene says something inappropriate. Would you Would you do that for us? Gene. <laughs> I love enough? it. Louise. He does it to all of them. Whenever yeah, they so say I say something really, Louise. I'm saying something really inappropriate right now. Skylar. <laughs> Um, so he's doing the same thing to Lynn right now. Please. Thank you for loving me. Oh, God. Everyone's thanking. The whole Lynn. world's thanking you. Stop. Oh, Lynn. pause Stop. for a second. Thanking you. Okay, so she starts dancing in the window. She throws her arms up. She puts them on her hip. She does a spin, throws her arms up again, then grabs the burger from yeah. the window. And she then when she says thanking you, she reaches her hand through the window and points the bob. <laughs> <laughs> and you think it's about to end, but where's Gene? Glenn, kill the turkey. Glenn, pass oh. the cranberry sauce. Ha- okay, so you start to hear this music uh, crescendo, and Bob looks up when because like a spotlight comes down. He like well, looks up. The, He's like, "Where's the music the light coming from?" First fades, like the kitchen becomes dark gray. Yeah, and then the spotlight comes down. Bob's looking around like, where the hell is this music coming from? And Linda, Lynn slides in. Now she's in the kitchen with them. And Under starts, this spotlight. Starts dancing. And she's going to perform the song even more uh, theatrically. Have a mashed potatoes. Oh, the turkey looks great. So uh, Tina has started dancing to it now with her back towards us. Louise has turned around to watch her mom lovingly. And then Tina turns around to watch as well. Thank you for loving me. And Bob turned around. Thank you for being there. Please. Thank you for loving me. Everyone's thanking. The whole Good. world's thanking you. So uh, <laughs> Tina and Louise are bopping along while uh, Bob has finally turned around. And he's not a. He's still not happy with it. Linda's dancing all over the place, spinning. She just did the classic kind of like cheesy Broadway like arm. Left arm down, right arm down, and then left arm up, right arm Yeah, up. with jazz hands. Yeah. Yeah. And we're finally getting appearance from Gene in his burger suit. You, thanking us for thanking you. Kill the turkey. <laughs> so Gene comes in, but he just stops right when he comes on the screen, and he's thrilled that his mom is dancing like this. So he starts dancing with her, and she starts kind of like reacting to him. I love it. And that's it. I love it. That's it. Um, um, do you want to read the lyrics to us, even though they're pretty clear? I would love to read the lyrics oh, to you, thank Skylar. You. Thank you for asking. That's so kind of you. Um, so these are the lyrics to Linda's Thanksgiving song. It reminds me of you and I. We yes. come up with songs all the time that are ridiculous Particularly like Particularly around food, I feel like. Sure. When you're, yeah. When we're in the kitchen. And about biscuit, as we've sung on oh, the well, podcast before. Oh, well, that's a whole before. other genre. Yeah. Um, so the lyrics to this is, uh, pass... The cranberry sauce. We're having mashed potatoes. Ooh, the turkey looks great. Now, this part I love because (laughs) thank you for loving me. Thank you for being there. Thank you for loving me. Everyone's thanking. The whole world's thanking you. Thanking us for thanking you. Kill the turkey. (laughs) So good. It's so good. So those are the lyrics to I Linda's Thanksgiving song. Credits. I do too. Is there anything you would change? What, what What did you love? What did you dislike? So what I really loved is you're watching these credits and you're like, hell yes, this is exactly one, what I want these credits to be. And you're like, okay, they're wrapping up. And then she comes to the front of the kitchen and we get to hear it all again, it, more in her fantasy, which she totally thinks she deserves to be on a Broadway stage with this brilliant song. Um, so I liked that surprise that we got to hear it twice. And then I think my favorite is Bob's when he comes around to the front. Like, he totally could have had a chance to, like, 
jump in and participate like the rest of the family is, but he, please, like, he can't. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. God. Oh, God. <laughs> what are your highlights and lowlights? Um, I mean, when we get to scoring, we'll see that I don't have many lowlights. Uh-huh. I love the song. Like, I, I love how love catchy it. the song is. Every time I watch this episode, I am singing it for days after in my head. Now we know um, what our afternoon is going to look like. Oh, we'll definitely be yeah. singing some pass the cranberry sauce. Pass the cranberry sauce. We'll have mashed potatoes. <laughs> um. So yeah, I I don't like. I think they did a great job with this because it's such a good song. I love seeing Linda pop up around, and then I love seeing them all re- react to it a little bit. Yeah, it so it like, really it does what I love about the show, which is the show is funny and quirky and weird and dark. Like, Louise has a dark sense of humor. But I love this family bond. I care about it deeply. And that's what kind of I feel here. Yeah. They're, they, they, they're not humoring their mom. They're, like, into it. Right. But they also get annoyed by these things, too. Like, it's just like any family. Like, like yeah. the stuff that you love that they do also annoys you sometimes. And yeah. Like, you, Except Gene. Not you. I'm not talking about you, honey. Um, you're... you're, you're <laughs> You, you don't call me. me honey in real life. That's true. I do just call you on. <laughs> just here. Yeah. It's it's a stage name I have for you. <laughs> um, it's like a hooker name. That's what I called my grandma. Oh, <laughs> I apologize, grandma. R.I.P. <laughs> it's a long, complicated story, um, which we won't go into, but... Um, I feel like you were going to say something. I was just saying that they that they all like it's the generic sequence, but then they all slowly start reacting to it. So like yes. at first they're not really reacting to Linda, but when she comes in, when she slides in and she's there doing it in the kitchen with yeah. them, Tina and Louise like they're not going to not react to that. They turn around, they start bopping their heads, they're enjoying it. You know, I love Bob it. Bob can't ignore it. He t- turns around and then Jean comes in to dance with her. So tell me, do you think the spotlight is in Linda's imagination or is it really there? Oh, it's definitely Linda's imagination. But uh, Bob reacts to the, the spotlight in the yeah. music. So yeah. he's, you know. That's a good the little thing you picked well, up there. Well, does this whole thing take place in Linda's head? So Bob could react. And that's the whole show? Rob, we, oh, the whole show. Now we're thinking, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now we're getting into big big time show theories. Okay. Um, The reveal is she's really just Gail and this is the family. She's always wanted. Oh, my God. Um, Something Twist. that I really like. I like Fish Odor as a character popping in, but if this whole thing was Fish Odor related, I wouldn't have loved it as much. So I just really love the decision they made to keep it the family. I agree. Um, should we score them? Yeah. We score on a scale of one to 10 H's at the end of Tina's uh. <laughs> Skylar. Oh, I'm going to go first. Uh, yeah, I'd say go ahead. All right. I'm giving you full permission to critique my critique i'm giving it a 10 skylar i am going to join you at the 10 <gasps> our second 10 yeah i think Perfection. i gave something a 10 and then brought it down once right yeah i talked you out of it <laughs> yeah right but this one is just like it's like it's like we just said it's just like everything about this show that makes it strong or that makes it such a special show this family this unit mm-hmm. is all in these end credits right here yeah, and especially for the first Thanksgiving episode, I love them so mm-hmm. much. Man. So that's that. That's our first that's Thanksgiving exciting. episode. Thank you, everyone, as always, for listening. We appreciate it. We love all the feedback. If we could ask for some five-star reviews anywhere you listen to this, primarily on Apple Podcasts, it, it really helps out helps. a lot. Yes, yeah. we really, really appreciate it. You don't have to write anything too special in there. You can just say, Max is pretty damn amazing, and uh, I don't know about that honey character <laughs> no you don't have to write anything too too crazy just love it yeah um we'd really it, it appreciate help us out. it yeah follow us on instagram we're always or and twitter we're always posting extra stuff that has to do with these episodes and max and i had a little brainstorm mm-hmm. if you guys have been following us on our instagrams we have this beautiful family portrait mm-hmm. drawn in the style of bob's burgers with mm-hmm. all the bob's characters over us and i think soon if we get our act together we're most likely going to be doing a giveaway so if you follow us there um, you could get a portrait of your family in the Bob style too. Once we plan the giveaway, yeah, just keep an eye out for it. But yep. we're we're Bob's credits 
on Twitter, Instagram. We have a Patreon. It's uh, patreon.com forward slash Bob's credits. If you want to support us, um, we'd appreciate that as well. It helps us out a little bit. It uh, keeps yep. us making these babies. Keeps us um, going. Yeah. Feed and biscuit. Yeah. We, it's, yeah, that's true. If you want, if you'd like to buy biscuit a cup of coffee, Patreon's the way to do it. <laughs> Other than yeah. that, Skylar, do you have anything that you'd like to say before I, we go? I'm gonna I feel go like with you this. might. Pass the cranberry sauce, everybody. Stay saucy. Pass the cranberry sauce. <laughs> Cran- I can do it. All right. That's a good way to end this episode. <laughs> good.